Do you want to take it off the jacket? No. You want me to? <laughs> Please? Sure. Could you? Yeah. Thank you very much. I want to show you our oh. tattoos. Oh, yeah. So they take me by the hand. When I saw a few, I only saw one band. Garage Fuzz. Garage Fuzz. Yeah. They were good. Yeah, they were great. They got the crowd pumped. They got them ready to go. Yeah. Really cool. It's my first time here, and I love it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's great. It's a lot of fun. Way better than what what we see in the states. Mm -hmm. It's down here is way more fun. Everybody's more crazy and into it. And it's amazing. It's awesome. It's great. Um, every day is a new experience. You know, we're getting to see a lot. We're doing a lot of plane rides, pretty much flying everywhere, and uh, just you know, meeting some really nice people. And everything is everything is great. You know, can't wait to come back. You know, I'm sad that it's only five days. Is there any plan to come back? Well, there will be soon. Was there any invitation invitation for you to come next year? Maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there is. Okay, there yeah. is. <laughs> nice. You, I, I'm sure that the Brazilian fans would like to see you again next yeah, year, we'll or maybe next week. <laughs> Why yeah, not? Give them a little more time. <laughs> we love country music. You know, Willie Nelson. Uh, oh, Betty. Sean yeah. Petty, yeah. but you know, we're all huge Ramones fans too, so we love punk rock just as much, you know. Late 90s bands, you know, I was into, you know, we're from Washington, we're from Seattle, and so of course we got into the grunge scene and Seattle scene with Nirvana and Pearl Jam and, you know, those Seattle bands, uh, but I also got into Rancid and, you know, uh, listen, we listen to anything and everything pretty much, especially when we're on the road, you know, you're constantly changing up music. I would say we're we're a, a punk band, really. You know, we're a rock and roll band because we do, do we do songs that aren't necessarily considered punk rock. But I think because just as genres are created, you know, rock and roll and then out of that there's rockabilly and there's punk rock and there's hard rock or, or whatever and there's heavy metal. There's so many things that could come out of just a rock based type music and I think the same happens with punk rock in each form of, of uh, genre that becomes something a little bit different too and that's kind of where we are where you're you know we said MXPX sounds like MXPX and Tumble Down sounds like Tumble Down but we sound a little bit like maybe a lot of different things and could I say that you guys are a large car band we have hardcore songs, you know, but I don't think we're usually classified that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, it depends because different countries, different cultures have different definitions of hardcore bands. Hardcore is a little bit, it's heavier and it's usually more screamy. Um, and since we're more focused on like uh, more melodic song changes, you know, it's usually not considered as hard. There's hardcore bands that dress like jocks, that dress with like gym shorts, tennis shoes, uh, t-shirts, you know, big t-shirts. They look like gangsters, you know? And there's some hardcore bands that are considered hardcore, like Great Britain Hardcore, GBH. They look, you know, Rancid kind of like took their, those fashion ideas, you know, from the, the London punk rockers. But um, that's a different kind of hardcore. So, I mean, you can't really say that those two bands, types of bands, are the same because they're not at all, but they're both hardcore. There's no defining. You just have to make your own way in the musical world, and hopefully that translate, translates into the world. But well, we were just in it for the music. We were, we were doing well. We were, uh, we were touring all over the world, playing, you know, putting out records, and people were buying them, and, you know, you go like this, so once you get to the edge of where you're at, you go, okay, well, I guess 
we got to go to a bigger record label so we can get more records out, you know. And that's kind of what you do. You just bridge that gap with a bigger record label. Um, nowadays it's different, you know, because the bigger record labels aren't really, they're not really developing acts at all. They're just, um, they're signing, you know, pop singers and stuff like that, you know, for that hit song or whatever. But they're not really like, they'll drop that person in a couple of years once their career's done. Punk rock's become so mainstream that now it's pop rock, you know, it's really poppy. It's, uh, it's, it's because, you know, I, I'm influenced by Black Flag, but listen to my band, it's much softer, much, much more melodic than Black Flag. And so I guess bands that listen to like stuff, bands like our age, you know, it gets a little softer on the next time, and then so on and so forth. I don't know if that's really a real theory, but it could be. You know, the popular bands, of course, are just pop music, you know, it's just love songs and stuff like that, which is fine because we've always had that, even when it was the 60s and there were protests everywhere. There was always pop songs that were just love, 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 you know? Oh, yeah, totally. So, we still have that. And there's a hardcore scene. There's an underground scene of, you know, dissidents and revolutionaries and protest movements. It's there. It's rising up. It'll get worse and worse. And better and better. So that's why uh, you think that these bands are still underground because they don't really want to lose their right to talk about anything? No, it's because they're not popular.